IVF treatment has become one of the uh, commonest procedure for uh, achieving the uh, parenthood. Hi, I am Dr. Sunil Ishwar. I am an IVF consultant and laparoscopic surgeon at IK Fertility, uh, JP Nagar. Today I will be uh, talking on a few uh, important aspects about egg development and the quality of the oocytes. As we all know, the, uh, the, uh, the quality of the embryo, the embryo quality is totally depend on two important things. One is the sperm and the other one is the egg, other what we call it as oocyte. So if the egg quality is good, if the sperm quality is good, the embryo quality also is going to be good. So today we will be talking more on the, um, what do you say, egg, okay. So how the egg develops and what are the stages and how it affects the pregnancy outcome. So egg, egg development has a different stages. So totally it takes around 60 to 80 days for one egg to develop, right? So it initially starts off as what is what is called as uh, prim uh, primordial uh, uh, follicles which are not seen in the scan and slowly it develops to what is called a small antral follicle. These are the follicles which which is uh, seen in the scan on the trans, uh, transvaginal scan and slowly the small antral follicles become the pre ovulatory or a mature follicles so there is a good amount of stages which is not dependent on the hormone so this is the uh, you know eggs which needs to come up to small antral follicle for us to you know use it to be, uh, in the ivf procedure or for the eggs to create embryos so why is this cycle or why is this stage which is uh, called as prim uh, primordial follicle to small antral follicle important because generally in an ovary if it's a normal responder we will have around four to five or six eggs or follicles which are seen which will be ready to develop so this is an okay situation because it's a normal responder when it comes to a low responder any uh, where the AMH is low or the number of eggs which you are seeing is low and we want the numbers to be better, this is the stage which we need to work. These are the follicles which are not seen and yes, if we can develop these follicles, then the number of eggs to be used for IVF will be more and success is better. So that's the reason, that is where, where the role of preparation comes in. So we generally in our practice, in our IVF practice, we do what is called as IVF preparation. The importance of IVF preparation is one, not just the psychological, you will have, have psychological preparation because it's going to be a very stressful period. Two, it is also to prepare your body, detox, so that you know the quality of the oocytes are better, give you some uh, medications which will improve the recruitment of medication to improve the recruitment of the primordial follicles so once this and generally a preparation should include at least four to eight weeks of medications so this gives us a good time for the primordial follicles to develop and increase the number of eggs even in patient with low ovarian reserve People with generally with uh, low ovarian reserve or what we call it as low ovarian reserve or someone who has a low AMH, it is always better that you prepare yourself for at least 6 to 8 weeks to get a better outcome. Never in a hurry jump into the treatment. Thank you.